Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2008 Champions Cup Gala to benefit Tenacity. To begin this evening's program, we welcome principal sports reporter for WCVB-TV's New Center 5, our friend, Mike Dowling. Thank you. I would like to uh, welcome you all out. We have some special introductions here that are going to take place in a minute, so we'd like to invite all of you to uh, take your seats and listen up. Uh, I know many of you were here last year, and uh, as was I, very pleased to be invited back. This is a tremendous event, and we certainly thank all of you for uh, coming here tonight. Um, I'm thrilled to see the successful partnership that has uh, taken place and developed between Tenacity and the Champions Cup Tournament. I think Ned and Jim are to be commended for combining forces. In the end, the kids are the winners here from everything that takes place tonight and all week long. As you will witness tonight, we will celebrate the power of partnership, showing that when all members of the community work together, we all win. So let's get the evening rolling now by introducing some of Tenacity's outstanding young all-stars who will be escorted on stage tonight by their new friends, some of the tennis world's greatest legends. To get the evening kicked off, I would now like to introduce the Tenacity students and the Champions Cup players. So let's get started. To my left, coming up first will be Carlos Gavino, joined by his new friend John McEnroe. Carlos lives in the South End. He's an eighth grader at the Curley School. Carlos is a very talented artist and will be attending the Boston Arts Academy next year. And you all know John won 17 Grand Slam titles, three Wimbledon, four U.S. Opens, and he's currently number three on the Stanford Champions rankings of the Outback Champions Series. Now I think from to my right, join me in welcoming Dylan Sandifer, who is joined tonight by Wayne Ferrara. Dylan is an eighth grader at the Gavin Middle School here in South Boston with high aspirations. Coming from the BAC, he will soon be pursuing his calling as a chef of his own barbecue restaurant. His smile will make you happier than you've ever been. He will be missed by his mates at BAC. And Wayne Ferrara, currently number four in the Stanford Champions rankings of the Outback Championship Series. He has 26 career titles on his resume. Now back to my left, Ada Bonilla, now escorted by Michael Pernfor. Ada is graduating from the Mario Umana Middle School Academy this year and will be attending Fenway High School in the fall. She is a skilled tennis player who shines brightest on the doubles court. And Michael is currently sixth on the Stanford Champions rankings, the Outback Championship Series, former French Open finalist. To my right, Lisette De Leon of Hyde Park, joined by her new buddy, Jimmy Arias. Lisette is graduating from the Washington Irving Middle School and will be attending Fenway High School in the fall. Lisette is undefeated in singles team tennis matches this year. And Jimmy currently ranked number four in the Stanford Champions rankings of the Outback Championship Series. And last but by no means least, Giselle Harris, who is joined by Aaron Crickstein. Actually, she's not last. Giselle is an eighth grader at the Curley School, will be attending Boston Community Leadership Academy next year. She, she is an aspiring poet and active member of the Tenacity Team Tennis Program. And Aaron Crickstein, who ranks number eight on the current Stanford Champion rankings. He has nine career titles on his resume. Now, please welcome East Boston's own Marcos Leonez and his pal Todd Martin. Marcos is an eighth grader at the Mario Umana Middle School Academy. will be attending Boston Community Leadership Academy in the fall. He recently played in and won his first team tennis match of the year. And Todd Martin, currently number two on the Stanford Champion rankings, the Outback Championship Series, two-time Grand Slam finalist. Now we have Jonathan Katamori, escorted by Jim Courier. Jim. 
Jonathan Hales from the Alston neighborhood of Boston. He attends the Edison Middle School in Brighton. In addition to being an up-and-coming tennis player, Jonathan also a talented member of the Boston Children's Choir. Jonathan considers himself the Roman Empire of youth tennis. He not only conquers foes, but also builds roads and aqueducts for them. And, and John's escort, Jim Courier, needs no introduction. Currently number one in the Stanford Champions rankings of the Outback Champions Series. Four Grand Slam titles, two French Open, two Australian Open. And a big round of applause for all of our champions, both seniors and juniors. Warm applause for Jim Courier. You're awesome, man. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, yes, wow. What a, what a program this has been and, and how inspiring these kids are. And I'm lucky that I get to come into your community on more than, uh, more than one occasion a year and get to interact with the great Tenacity program. This is our third year in partnership with Tenacity, with Champions Cup Boston, and it is the perfect partnership for us. It fits in so many great ways. So many friendly faces are here tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, from all of the players and everyone uh, involved with Champions Cup Boston, it is our privilege to be here with you tonight. A wise man once said, learn to walk a mile in someone else's shoes in order to better know them. We have that opportunity tonight. We want to give you an inside glimpse of what it is really like to be a tenacity student. Ladies and gentlemen, the tenacity journey. Things just came crashing down for me. Uh, I was the youngest, I was the baby of the house. So whenever something went wrong, it went on me. They would uh, drink and they would get into fights or they would just always stay in their room secluded. I felt like I just couldn't be in a, in a house where I wasn't getting anything out of it. I started hanging out with a lot of friends. Um, I actually created a gang um, where we sold weed on the corner. That was life, basically, until my mom came to get me. She just came by and um, she she told me to get all my things and and she took me to this uh, court and we saw an official and the first thing that she said to him were you know he's not my son anymore I don't want him those words hurt but you know I could see where she's coming from now um, but the official told her she can't just give up custody so we went back home and she just ignored me I think that same day or a day later Andy came and he had a strong relationship with me at the time. So he talked to my mom, and he talked her into letting me stay with him for a little while. My whole life changed around since that day. I want to be the first one to graduate in my family, and I wanted to be the first one to be somebody. Ever since then, I've been getting A's and B's in school, you know, just playing basketball, playing baseball. If I didn't have Andy or Tenacity in my life, I don't think I would have been at this stage. Tenacity helped me change my life around, just having a support figure like Andy, um, having people around him like Katie or Josh or... Just other people, like Tenacity is your family away from home. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Tenacity! Come on, put your hands together as loud as you can. Come on, kids! I can't hear you! Come on! As loud as you can! I cannot believe how many people they fit in here. Good morning, Thomas Edison Middle School. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Josh, and I am here from, can you guess? Tenacity, that's right. We are an after school program right here in your school, and I'm in your classroom this morning to tell you all about it. First of all, we play tennis. Scream if you've ever played tennis before. <laughs> wow, we got a lot of people who have played before. If you're a beginner, though, and you've never played before, don't worry. You can learn all along with us. We also do literacy, which is basically reading and writing. Who here likes to read stories? We read a ton of really cool stories in Tenacity as well. We also go on field trips. We play fun games, and we hang out a lot together as a group building a community. Does this sound cool so far? Does it sound really cool? <laughs> 
Who here wants to hit a ball as hard as they can with this racket? <laughs> the best part I have saved for last. It is absolutely free. For three years, for even longer, until you're through high school and college, all of our services are completely free. All you have to do is try. Home visits at Tenacity are really important. Going into Tenacity was a new experience for me because I had never played tennis before. Tenacity made me feel comfortable by visiting my house and meeting my family. You might have even seen me in one of the Tenacity videos because they got so close to us, they actually videotaped one of our home visits. Throughout this whole experience, I've learned how to put play tennis, but more importantly, I've learned how to control myself and how to interact with others. If Tenacity wasn't so close to my family and didn't call them for every little thing, I don't think I would have learned and grown as much. I think my mom would say the same thing, but I'll let you hear from her. Well, I am so happy to my children are in Tenacity. Uh, the staff in Tenacity are so wonderful. To me, they are a part of my family, especially Katie. Our relation has grown so much, but I don't who loves her, I love all, all staff. When they come to my home, I feel real excited. I feel like, like it's a part of family reunion. They treat me and my children with respect, and we do the same. We also get to share it within with each other. For example, they introduce my kids to tennis, and they teach they how to get along with different kids or people. And I love being able to share it with them, the experience of eating pupusas, or, or the most typical food in the Central America. They know me very well, and I know them. I will recommend to program this anyone. Hi, welcome to Literacy Block. When we first come in, we start off with a journal prompt, and then we have to like respond to it in our journals. After that, we, we have to start getting ready to go into our reading groups, and then we start reading with our tutor, like a chapter book. Everyone in the group has a job, like Cool Words Manager, where you get to um, write down cool words from the book, like words that we don't understand. Like we get to write it as if we made a small dictionary, and then we get to we can use the words anytime we don't understand them. There's Time Manager, where you have to keep track of the time, and then there's Illustrator, which is my favorite part because you get to draw what's happening in the book. At the end, we have to do pro do projects like. We can do skits or a storybook or um, a different kind of projects like make a board game about the book. And then we present it to all of our literacy block. And then after that, we start doing our homework and then we get help with our from our tutors. When we're done with our homework, we get to go to tennis. So you want to know about tennis at Tenacity. Come on, let's go, come on, Lewis, come on, be your record, let's go, buddy, come on. The first thing you got to know is to keep up, because it's fast paced. No taking breaks, let's go, come on, you're going to be your record today, come on. It's a lot of running, and what's cool is that you don't even notice the workout. <laughs> come on, come on, get to it, take the shot, come on. Oh, nice rip. <laughs> When I joined Tenacity, I had no idea what tennis even was. But since Tenacity uses a game-based approach to learning tennis, I got way better even when I was just concentrating on having fun. It's a no-pressure environment. It went, I went from having no strokes to a pretty good Sanford imitation. <laughs> I found myself going out to hit in all my spare moments. I became addicted, and plus, I looked pretty cool in my new balance gear because they sponsored Tenacity. 
There's a ton of opportunity for being in the tennis world once you get hooked. I play all the time now. Uh, I got to play in the Mayor's Cup, at the Longwood Tennis Club, and other nice tennis clubs around Boston and Massachusetts. I also got to ball boy for the Boston Lobsters. I got a job scorekeeping for Harvard tennis men's matches. And by the end of my eighth grade year, I got a Harvard, I got a tenacity teaching job teaching tennis. <laughs> tennis went from a more frustrating version of ping pong to something I have all of my life. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, Jim Currier, if you could return my serve, I'll give you this racket. <laughs> tennis is the best part of tenacity, except for field trips. <laughs> Did nobody tell you about field trips? I like field trips. They're really fun and you just get to enjoy yourself and you get to learn new things every day and every time you go on a field trip, you learn something new. On the high school trips, um, like I got to see what high schools I wanted to go to and I didn't have to just choose between one or two, like I could see other ones. Next to our site, there's a bowling alley and it was all girls week and all boys week. So it was just us girls and it was really fun. I was, oh, we went on a hiking trip. I was like, oh, I've never been hiking. I think I'm gonna get hurt or something. It was so fun. It was like, I wanted to go back every year. It was like, we were thirsty, it was really thirsty. And then it took a long time, but like it was fun because once we got up there, we could see everything. It was really pretty. Before I was like really quiet, just used to be by myself. And then when I got to tenacity, like, I just opened up and now I could just be myself. I don't have to hide from anyone. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I'm a tutor at the Harvard site of Tenacity. I'm now completing my junior year at Harvard, and I've been with Tenacity for the last three years. Very quickly after joining the program, I learned that Tenacity has the right formula for helping its students. It identifies students at a critical point in their lives, adolescence, and helps them develop important academic and life skills that empower them through opportunity. Ironically, though our goal is to help the kids develop important skills that will help them succeed in the future, I too have found that I have learned a tremendous amount from them. Hearing about a student's experience leaving behind her family in China to come to America, or about another student's struggle to be the first student in his family to go to college, has cultivated in me a deep sense of respect for the challenges our students face. Every day, I learn as much as the students do. As I think about life after college, I'm interested in the world of finance. In fact, this summer I'm going to be joining Goldman Sachs, an opportunity that I think will be enriched by my experiences at Tenacity. While at first it may not seem that there are parallels between tutoring middle schoolers and working for an investment bank, in fact, I think that my experiences at Tenacity have shaped my values. To be an effective tutor, you have to connect with the kids on a deeply personal and genuine level. Trust me, the kids can detect a phony. But same, similarly, being an effective business leader requires the same, commitment, honesty, and integrity. It's an incredible privilege to go to Harvard, but it's one that carries with it an important obligation for me to do my part to ensure that equal access to opportunity exists. Tenacity's commitment and success with its students shows that a great organization with strong leaders really can make a difference in the lives of students. As I look around at our graduating eighth graders, I know that our lives um, will come together in the future, and I can't wait to see what kind of leaders they're gonna be. All right, what's it like being an eighth grader? Well, it's actually just like being in sixth grade, except two levels harder. I mean, in some ways, the past three years of my life have felt like one really long year with a couple of really long vacations mixed in. And to me, that's a good thing because it means I've been having fun. And every year, even though my teachers and classes have been changing, I knew I had a tenacity community to go back to. Next year is high school. My thoughts, I'm gonna have to work hard. And I don't wanna lie to you, but working hard is really not my hobby. 
But I know if I want to go to college, I'm gonna have to make it my hobby. I used to think it would be easy to get into a good high school, but it turns out it's not. You have to write essays, fill out forms, go on interviews, but with tenacity by my side, I managed to do all that. They were by my side when I was filling my high school application, especially when I was down to my last two high schools and I didn't know which one to pick. So they said, hey, why don't we shadow them for a day and see which one fits best for you? And now thanks to the shadowing, I know which high school I'm going to. And I'm proud to say that next year I'm going to a great high school, the Community Charter School of Cambridge. Tenacity provides many services, um, not necessarily only tennis, but most importantly a focus on literacy. And that has been extremely important for the Mario Humana. The fact that students learned a different mode of reading and writing, and the focus on emphasis has allowed the school um, to attain adequate yearly progress. Four years ago, before, the, before Tenacity came into the building, we were only at a 10% passing. We now have over 80% of our students passing the ELA MCAS directly related to the emphasis on literacy that Tenacity provides the students and families of the Mario Humana. And the fact that the people who work here at the Humana from Tenacity are extremely committed to the children. They understand the development of every child. They develop relationships, a mentoring relationship with every child has allowed that every child who is in tenacity knows and feels that they have a person, an adult that they can go to and help them not only with high school issues but also with homework issues, with literacy issues. That is not always true in every school. I, the first time I understood the homework center prepared by tenacity and the kids just kept coming it signaled to me that the children were receiving more than just academic instruction. They have a mentor. They have a person they can communicate with. And the ability Tenacity and their members have to connect with children and to provide mentorship for inner city schools is just exactly what every child in every school should have. And we are deeply thankful to Tenacity for the work they're doing in supporting our children. Guess what I heard? I can get a job with tenacity in the Boston Park and Recreation Department. How awesome is that? When you graduate from middle school, and as long as you have good grades, when you show leadership and tenacity, they can give you a summer job reading with kids or teaching tennis. Yeah, I have to get up early, and I'm a little nervous to be in charge of other kids, but I'm absolutely excited too. I can't believe it. I'll be teaching. Oh. And to be honest, I'm kind of excited to have a little responsibility. It feels like I'm growing up. My dad says I look good on a resume, too. I'm on my way. Next stop, high school. Yeah, so I'm in high school, and Tenacity's still here with me. Like my shadow, I can't shake them. See, they got this alumni program that after you graduate, they keep in contact with you. They call you to check in, see how you're doing in school. They call you to make sure that everything's going on well at home, and everything works with this program. We go on field trips and Celtics games. It's really fun. I also go over to Tenacity when I'm struggling, or if I got a big test, or if I ever want to beat Ned in a tennis match to make myself feel better. But as I get older, I'm starting to realize how important it is to have somebody side by side with you every step of the way. I actually started mentoring our younger middle school kids on Saturdays. I have a busy schedule of the week until 5 o'clock, and I'm always there every Saturday, giving back. I think I'm even going to volunteer when I go to college. It's really important to me. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got accepted into Boston College. Boston University. <laughs> Holy Cross. <laughs> and Emmanuel. <laughs> Not bad. It feels good to be wanted. 
Lately, the future seems so close. It makes me reflect on the past. Yeah, I've been in some tough places, but tenacity's been through it all with me, side by side. The same goes for all my tenacity friends. I'm not the only one with a cool story. Come on out, guys, don't be shy. Hello, everyone. My name is Aldell Brown. I'm currently a senior at St. Mark's School. Um, next fall, I'll be attending Howard University. My name is Ken. I currently am a senior at Match, and next year I plan to go to Northeastern. Hi, my name is Amira Lacey. I'm currently a senior at City on the Hill High School, and in fall, I will be in Mount Ida College. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ivan Buccarizo. I'm currently a senior at Madison Park Technical Vocational High School, and next year I will be attending Emmanuel, high, Emmanuel College. And my name is Luis Sanchez. I am a senior at the Match Charter Public High School, and I will be attending Boston College next fall. So I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. We hope that you enjoy your dinner. Uh, mingle, please. Uh, meet some new friends and stick around. It'll be great. Thank you.